In this video, we are going to create and make these beautiful paper flowers using Quicker Design Space. Let's get started. Create a new project in Design Space. On the left hand side tool panel, click Shapes and create a heart. Go to the top and click Offset. Set out the distance to the maximum 1 inch. You will see two heart shapes now. We only need a new one, so let's get rid of the smaller one. I'm just going to change the color here so it looks prettier. Turn off the lock proportions. This way we could change the heart to a bit skinnier to make it look more like a flower petal. If you are a precise person who cannot stand random numbers, then we could change the size on the top to 3.5 inches width and 5 inches height. Next, select the heart, right click and choose duplicate. We are going to make 5 petals, so 360 degrees divided by 5 will be 70 degrees. Choose the second heart and change to rotate on the top to 72 degrees. After the rotation, move the second heart to just overlap the first one. Select and duplicate the second heart. We could also go to the top right corner to duplicate an object instead of right click. This time rotate the third heart to 144 degrees and move it to just touch the second heart. Select the second and the third heart. Duplicate them and flip them horizontally. Move them to the left a bit and adjust them to make them look more like a flower. Then create a circle to cover the hole in the middle. Select all the elements and go to the bottom right corner. Click weld to make them into one object. Now we have created the flower. Just need to adjust the size we would like to make. Change the height of the flower to 3 inches. Next, we are going to make 8 of them. Each flower will be 1 quarter inch smaller than the previous one. So we will duplicate one by one and change the height to 1 quarter inch smaller each time. Now we should have 8 flowers on the screen and make sure they are in different sizes. If everything looks good, then we can go ahead and click make it. All the eight flowers have been cut out. So then in size order, use a pen to roll the petals one by one and pull them aside, stack them in size order. Next step, we are going to glue them all together. Begin with the smallest flower. Give it a good squeeze to make it more like a flower bud. Use glue gun to glue the petals together. Be careful with the glue gun as the bud is a bit small. Make sure you don't end up losing your fingerprint. When turn the bud over, you will see the button is like a pentagon. The point bit of the pentagon should be in the middle of a petal of the next flower. Put glue at the bottom of the bud and give the second layers of the flower a good squeeze to stick them together. Continue to glue the rest of the layers together. Now we are nearly there. Just need to have a final touch to make it more realistic. Use a pen to roll and open the outside layers a bit. When it gets close to the bud, it might be tricky to use the pen, so we are just gonna use our fingers to adjust the petals. Look at this, we have created and made this beautiful flower. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Please tag me on Instagram if you have met this project.